two of my most frequently given pieces of advice in the work Brighter Verse are start small and start a journal. Just two general blanket great ideas. And purpose cards, but and combine them both into one product. Those geniuses. Can't wait to share it with you. Brittany Berger here, the founder of workbrighter.co. We help burnout prone creatives go from working smarter to working brighter and redefining productivity and self care for themselves. And I am so serious and so literal when I say that these two pieces of advice are the one that I talk about the most. Literally, I am recording this in early April and the past two themes that we have had in the clubhouse, the work writer membership have been journaling and starting a new habit. And that was before I even found found out about purpose cards. It was just good timing. Plus, if you have watched any of my old videos, especially the one on why I take tiny hops instead of big leaps, you know how huge of a fan I am of starting any new thing by starting small and taking baby steps. And not just because I have baby feet. So today, let's talk about how purpose cards can help you start a journaling habit by starting small. Purpose cards are this deck of cards right here, and they are a journal that's literally in a deck of cards. I just dropped them. <laughs> oh, very klutzy over here. So purpose cards is this deck of cards right here and it is a journal in a deck of cards. How cute, how creative. I just love it so much. And they're also very handy for my baby sized hands. I'm just like not fully adult sized over here. And these cards are just like the size of um, a regular playing card or a debit card or anything that you would put in your wallet. And it has all of your journaling prompts, both for the morning and the evening, right on the card along with space to fill them out. So all on here is your, your mindset check, your to do's, your habit, your reflection, your gratitude. All right here, baby. These cards literally have like all the same prompts that I recommend and put in the work writer journaling kit just smaller and smaller is what you need if you're just starting your journaling habit or if your life is really hectic and otherwise drop the habit completely like for example I know that while my journaling habit is pretty set in stone when I'm home I always tend to forget about it when I'm traveling and then again when I get back home from travel and so I've used a few of these to test out now but I am totally saving them for the next time I go somewhere because I know that that's gonna be when my journaling in an actual journal becomes less consistent when I'm gonna need these most. So let's look at how these work. Like I said before, the front of the card is where you set your mindset for the morning. You can pick an intention for the day, write down your most important tasks, do a little visualizing or manifesting or what have you about what would make the day successful. And when I say a little, I mean a little. But um, then you're done with the card for a while. You can put it in your pocket, put it in your wallet. I have been actually using it as the bookmark for my other main journal because yes, while I am using the purpose cards for my morning and evening journaling, especially right now, your girl's got a lot of feelings and they go in here. Anyway, you go about your day, la di da, and then sometime at the end of the day, you're gonna wanna fill out the back of the card. And on this side, you can rate your day, jot down a highlight, identify room for improvement and show a little gratitude. Uh, super basic easy prompts that are great for any journaling beginner to make a habit of. So if you decide to try them out, here are three general tips for getting started with journaling with purpose cards. So first one, I want you to decide where you're gonna do your journaling in the morning. Grab a pen, grab your purpose cards deck, and put them there. Get it all ready for yourself now so it'll be easy to do later. Some good spots for this stuff might be like putting it on your nightstand so you could fill it all out right when you wake up in the morning. You can put it all at your desk so it's the first thing you do before you sit down to start working. I don't drink coffee but I also really like the idea of putting your journaling stuff right next to your coffee machine so that you can get your journaling done while you wait for the coffee to brew in the morning. Forget where I saw that idea but I loved it. Anyway, get it all together now. Put it where you want it. That way when you wake up in the morning, one less thing. Second of all, be specific. The more more specific the better. Be specific in your intentions, be specific in your tasks. There's so much science on why more specific tasks on your to-do list make you more productive. I have a whole blog post about it I'll put in the comments below. And more specific gratitude makes gratitude journaling a 
lot easier. I don't know if any of you have tried gratitude journaling before, but one of the points is you're not supposed to repeat things a lot. And the more specific you are, the easier that is. Because then being grateful that Alex is here all the time to bring me snacks whenever I want, and Alex is here to bring me Diet Coke whenever I want, are two different things to be grateful for. And finally, be flexible, be forgiving, especially right now. No habit is going to get built at 100%. There are going to be days that you miss it completely. There are going to be days that you do it later than you normally would. There are going to be days where you can't think of anything. That is fine. Something is better than nothing. All progress is progress. One of the other things I love about purpose cards is that each day is a new card. So if you forget a bunch of days or if you don't like what you wrote one day, every day is a new card to draw. I feel like there's such a cool metaphor in that too. So if you have wanted to start journaling, or especially if you wanted to start journaling but a big blank page every morning feels too overwhelming, or if you've tried journaling before but you couldn't fill like a whole page of thoughts first thing in the morning, I really think purpose cards will be the thing that will get you to finally build that journaling habit, which again, I recommend. So if you want to check them out, you can find them at mypurposecards.com. And if you're watching this around the time that this video is being published, they're actually running a Kickstarter right now. So I'll put all the information below for you to be a backer. Now I want to hear from you. Do you journal already? If you journal, are the prompts similar to what my purpose card suggests? If you don't, have you tried before? And would purpose cards have made it more likely to stick with the habit? That's all I have for you today. So thanks for watching and don't forget to work brighter this week.